Workstation drivers are very important to keep the performance of your machine up. In any media production station though, the most important drivers probably are graphic drivers. And since not that long ago, I don't know about you, but I have noticed that Nvidia now offers two types of graphic drivers, Game Ready and Studio. What's the difference and why the separation is necessary is our today's topic. Go. This video is sponsored by NVIDIA and SCAN computers, but not in a usual way. SCAN computers, who are one of the leading retailers in UK and Europe, kindly sent me this unit right here. This is Gigabyte Aero with RTX 2080 inside. But today we're not talking about this particular unit, we're talking about technology that is inside. We will perform various tests on it in different softwares and then this will be the main prize in the upcoming CG challenge that I will announce in the separate video. Technology is evolving at unprecedented rate and any device these days have some sort of firmware or operating system to help it to work at its best. Today's creative professionals are more demanding than ever before. There are more than 40 million creative professionals online and studio based who depend on high performing PCs for their craft. For years they have been underserved, having to rely on hardware that didn't always address their needs. GPU rendering became a thing not that long ago and we were and still are using hardware that is mostly gaming oriented. Drivers can be updated over time to help these devices to work better if they found some bugs or found a way to improve the performance. And apparently something as sophisticated as graphic card can be upgraded and improved over time. And this is exactly what Nvidia is doing all the time. But since RTX technology was announced, there are now two types of drivers available, Game Ready and Studio. This is because Nvidia acknowledges that game industry and creative industry have different requirements. Gamers need DirectX performance while creatives need CUDA cores, RT cores and AI enhancements. Gamers care about refresh rates while creatives care about image precision and gamuts. Gamers care about RAM speed but creatives care about capacity and so on. With growing content creating market it became obvious that all the users and all the power apps they're using require special attention. Nvidia Studio is not only the specialized drivers, it's a collaboration with manufacturers where hardware is purpose-built from carefully selected parts and then tested to perform particularly well in creative applications. It's easy to identify these systems, so when shopping for a laptop, you can identify them by a special badge that signifies that this machine was built with creators in mind. It's laptops like this or the Razer I reviewed last year or many others, just pay attention to these badges. You can find a range of Nvidia RTX Studio laptops on scancomputers.co.uk. Link is in the video description. So let's break down what RTX technology brings to us in conjunction with studio drivers. CUDA cores are still present in all new generation uh, GPUs. RTX GPUs bring new features on top of that. The one we all know about as CG artists is of course interactive ray tracing thanks to RT cores. Features that got less attention though are AI powered workflows and the 8K video processing thanks to Nvidia and CUDA encoders. Quite literally, almost every creative app is somehow benefiting from RTX technology. Adobe Premiere got amazing speed ups, but I myself prefer to work in DaVinci Resolve. I've done some quick tests. I'm comparing performance on provided unit versus latest MacBook 16 inch. I can't show it because it's plugged. 
Since MacBooks don't have any NVIDIA devices in them, the difference should be obvious. In this very trivial example, RTX is three times faster than MacBook. It's important to mention that DaVinci has quite a few AI-enabled tools that would benefit from Tensor cores in latest RTX series. For example, Speed Warp interpolates frames and makes slow-mo video from input that was not meant to be slow-mo. Watch how much faster RTX is. RTX thought about it for a fraction of time, comparing to MacBook with AMD GPU inside that takes its time to finish the task. There are many more other DaVinci tools that are faster with RT cores. Overall, editing, grading, everything related to your movie montage is significantly faster on RTX laptops. For 3D tests, I use Cinema 4D and Blender. I also got lucky because Otto's Octane X was released just a couple of days before I'm recording this video, so we will test this out too. So I ran my personal benchmarking and testing scene. It's worth worth mentioning that this scene was initially built to be rendered on our in-house render farm uh, that has a lot of GPUs. So the samples are cranked up very high, making the scene not the best choice for laptop rendering, but I did it anyway. The difference is quite obvious, RTX is three times faster. One may argue that this is not a fair test, but I don't think so. These are best-in-class laptops with radically different approaches. Just to put my accent on the benefit of RTX in particular, I did another test. I want to show you that these laptops are pretty much identical when it comes to traditional CPU rendering. This Blender test is rendered on CPU and as you can see in this case, MacBook wins. Second test in Blender is again GPU powered and RTX wins. Now that uh, GPU rendering becomes more versatile and can work on almost any platform like Octane, I personally think that other GPU manufacturers have a lot of catch up to do in mobile graphics solutions. Where RTX would really shine is of course real-time engines like Unreal, but I haven't performed any tests because I still haven't touched Unreal or done any work in it. I've done a quite comprehensive research though and there there's plenty information available on the internet about how RTX is really speeding up creative workflows. And despite technology is relatively new, there are quite a lot of creative apps already benefiting from it. In fact, some softwares even give you a warning message asking you to update drivers to the latest version. Overall, if you're interested in hardware upgrade and are looking for a laptop, pay attention to these badges. They signify specific performance level and will help you to find the right laptop. To summarize, I personally didn't know that RTX influences that many tasks in my day-to-day -day work. I haven't even thought about how many tools are actually affected in DaVinci Resolve, for example. All I thought they're doing are speeding up my renders, but as we've seen in this video, that's not exactly the case. And I'm particularly impressed with speed bar features in DaVinci Resolve, because interpolation at that level was only possible using third-party solutions. I encourage you to research uh, what exactly RTX cards are powering in your creative applications. NVIDIA is powering more and more aspects of our day-to-day -day work and I'm super excited about what they have for us in the future. Regarding this unit here that I already mentioned, kindly provided by Scan Computers and sponsored by NVIDIA, it's not for me to keep, it's for me to give away to one of you to help with your day-to-day -day work. CG challenge that we all love so much will be announced in the following days, so stay tuned. I will also, of course, run through all the features this laptop have and all the beautiful things about it in that video. Thank you, NVIDIA, for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Scan Computers, for participating in this. Thank you for watching, and I see you really soon. Peace.